Hello everyone, this is BMW iX1 electric and this is the car key. We can open the car, close the car. It's um, very windy today, but I hope you can see and hear me. And this car is looking just amazing. Let's take a look to the trunk. This is automatic lift gate. We have a double splitted or bend trunk cover. Some net here and some bag, two hooks and two holders. See this 40, 20, 40. So you can individually fold down any kind of seat. Here is 12 volt socket and tow hitch. You can take a look how it works. Yes, and we can flip it or fold it down. Then we have this cover. It's quite a lot of space here. We can leave this cover and it stays in place, which is cool. And it's a lot of space here. And we can close it. We have a light here and we can close it using the button. This is a charge port, AC, DC. I can show you how much space we have inside. And yeah, this is quite nice place to be and I, when I sit normally, I have like a lot of space here and it's very comfy. Let's open the roof so we will get more light. You have a ventilation here with two USB Type-C ports. It's good to have ventilation, especially if some of your passengers might have a car sickness. This is very nice panoramic grass roof and you can actually observe the sky and see the clouds when other brands you have just this a light coming and you can't see much above it and here you have very nice interior this is for nazca black ladder this is my favorite one color and this adaptive kind of adaptive you have this rubberized part they can keep your cup in the place and if you just want to put a ski inside, you can do it with flipping just the middle seat. So this is very well thought. You can adjust the seat as well. So you can flip it a bit to the front, upright sitting position and to the back. And of course you can regulate the headrest if you are willing to. One bummer, the seat belt is mount to the roof. I remember the same was in uh, my previous um, BMW 225XE Active Tourer. So I'm not keen on that, but yeah, it's it does the job, so no complaints. You have two US sorry, you have two isofixes here and on my side as well. And for the passengers on the bag you have a net. And then taking a look to the right side, small hook here, the mount for a net. For the travel kit if you have one and you have the same on the bag I hope you can see it and if we are looking to the bag I can show you the back glass which is quite big I would say and this side uh, windows gives you additional light into the cabin to the interior so it's very very nice materials feels good rubberized uh, hard plastic this is with cushion quite comfy this is plastic Harman Kardon sound system very nice one uh, I can tell you about it later and this is scratchy plastic and place for the bottles let's move to the front this was the welcome sound from BMW sorry for the mess on the right side this is my recording equipment and some of them is charging at the moment don't look at this side just look at this side <laughs> so yes excellent comfy steering wheel some buttons one bummer bummer in bmw like a beamer <laughs> it's missing adjusting the distance in card in front of you when you're driving on the adaptive cruise control why i don't know but let's move on this is soft material metal or metal ish aluminium looking handle floating handle and plastic operational panel for the mirrors and for the windows and scratchy plastic here with some place for the bottles and and bags a lot of cushion here on the left side and a lot of cushion here on the right side which is cool you can open the storage here and this pocket is quite narrow so i'm not quite sure what you can keep here maybe a fish or banana i don't know and volume button 
start stop button, gear selector, parking brake and two USB type C connectors, 12 volt socket here. It's not adaptive place for the bottles. So my water mug is just flying around, which is not cool. Wireless charging from the phone, working perfectly fine, even better than in BMW iX3. I'm just joking, it's working the same way, it's very nice. Um, but actually this one is easier to put into the place. In BMW iX3, you put it flat and it's not always correctly placed sometimes it's not charging and one of the reasons is because iPhones at least iPhones they have like a big camera bump so it's creating some distance between the charger and the, the phone okay let's turn on the car start button and yeah we have perfectly well organized beautiful banded screen with some angles this is crystal sharp screen i just love it the more i look at it the more i like it this is a very nice screen and you have many features i will just make a separate video about the extra features but I, you can just see how the maps look like another media you have radio of course i can't use it at the moment to not to get copy strike for uh, music rights and uh, you have plenty apps i'm going to some of them in my other video and this screen is just excellent and at least from my point of view i can see everything i need here and if it's something flickering for you on the screen don't worry it's not visible for human eyes here it's just possibly showing on the camera i don't see it now steering wheel is really comfy but maybe let's let's move and drive a bit let me to clean up the windshield we go left let's talk a bit about this vehicle so city driving first and i can tell you that this is very very nice to drive vehicle but you have to keep in mind that this is sporty oriented and i am not now in the sport mode i am in the personal mode which would be comfort um, on the in the previous versions of BMW infotainment system and what doesn't mean uh, sporty oriented so it's still comfortable it's still fine but it's a bit on the firm side so it's not leaning on the corners it's not like leaning on the roundabouts it's not really wobbling or anything like that but at the same time it's a bit firm and it's um, it's still comfortable but i think it's mostly kind of attacking the tesla model y niche maybe maybe tesla model y is not anymore a niche because this is actually the best sold vehicle so now i i chose really bad road to tell you my experience about driving in this in this place let's take a look Yeah, maybe it's a bit um, loudy, would say, but, but still it's just fine. So yeah, this is city driving. I have excellent visibility outside of this vehicle. Maybe just one comment about this A pillar. It's, it's looking quite large, maybe even larger than in BMW iX3, which is supposed to be a bit larger vehicle. So yes, I would say this suspension is still better in my taste than Tesla Model Y. Tesla Model Y is even more firm and then it's a bit less comfortable than BMW iX3, where iX3 is more comfy oriented. But what is better than in BMW iX3? And it's definitely a um, drivetrain. And why I'm saying that? Because this car is four wheel drive and uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's noticeable difference, not just with uh, performance, but also with a uh, kind of stability on driving, white driving and uh, acceleration figures so this is really really cool vehicle and we've tested maybe you already seen this video we've tested the noise insulation yes in bmw ix3 is better so maybe because it's a new model bmw did not focus much on the tuning the noise insulation and uh, i like the head-up display i don't know if you can uh, see it from this camera angle 
and uh, I like the screen. It's very nice and sharp, as I mentioned. And also you have this kind of virtual cockpit. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful outside. Is uh, I think this could be a lake, actually, not a fjord. Okay, uh, and then going back to the car, you have this virtual cockpit assistant on the screen. Navigation is telling you where to go on the camera. I can try it. Let's fake that we want to go to Göteborg, Sweden, right? So I just go to the navigation and search for the place. Uh, the car is showing here the, the marks, where to go, where to turn. Very nice camera, very sharp. Quite responsive, quite fast in the transmitting the signal. We will drive towards the highway. So you see, there are road indicators on the actual camera. Camera is in the front of the hood. I just love it. I wish to BMW put it even in the older vehicles, which are kind of same equipped. Big thanks to Sulan Moss for lending me this vehicle. Thanks to them, I could perform the real world test and present results to you. So this car is very much sporty oriented. It's very quick up till 100 kilometers per hour so i'm not sure if you need all this power and bmw is even giving you the boost lever can increase the speed even farther we have in the background the iconic bmw sound i guess this is hans simmer work so if you like it you can uh, have it if you don't like it you can turn it off somewhere in the options yes why i'm saying that because this menu is a bit kind of messy slash complicated so advantage is that this menu gives you a lot of options for the small suv car but the downside is to access some of them takes a while to learn but i think as long as you get used to it as long as you learn it then it's just fine so driving around the town is so Super cool, super nice, very responsive, quite quiet. The problem with the noise insulation starts only on the highway with a speed, let's say 100 kilometers per hour. But please keep in mind we are on 20 inch rims, doesn't left much space for it rubber for the tires so that's possibly why this is a bit loudy if you would have a chance to go for smaller uh, rims then this comfort of driving on the highway will be improved possibly the range will be higher but the car of course would not look the same and sometimes for some people it's all about the look especially when you have bmw you want to look just excellent and this car provides the look in my taste i just love the look I like how BMW designed it. Uh, please let me know in the comments down below if you agree or not. Sorry, this was my cup holder. It's noisy. Okay, let's accelerate a bit. And yes, 100. I will turn on the um, adaptive cruise control. I can hear a lot of noise coming from the A pillar on the top or maybe this part of the roof. And I hear a bit of noise coming from the tires actually, especially on the back. To begin on a positive note, I am thoroughly pleased with the sitting position in the BMW iX1. It's exceptionally comfortable, offering ample adjustments, ensuring a delightful driving experience. The spacious interior further enhances the comfort, making extended journeys a pleasure. Regrettably, my time with the vehicle is limited to just a few days. For those contemplating the purchase of a BMW iX1, here are some considerations. The base and mid trim levels presents an excellent choice, offering a compelling blend of features and value. While the top level M Sport package may seem pricey, its appeal lies in its striking aesthetics, enjoyable driving dynamics and array of luxurious features. The interior's build quality is commendable, delivering exceptional comfort for both driver and passengers. In comparison to the Tesla Model Y, the BMW iX1 boasts more screens and a head-up display, enhancing safety and convenience. Its design also sets it apart, offering a unique alternative to the ubiquitous presence of Tesla's offerings. While Tesla has its own merits, such as its electric range and technology, the BMW iX1 provides an opportunity for those seeking individuality in their choice of 
electric vehicle. Thank you for tuning in to my video. If you found it helpful, consider subscribing and liking it. Feel free to leave your comments and questions below. I value your feedback. Wishing you a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.